But since this is the second time he's been on it ever, we just want to be very, very careful. Um, and we're going to have a harness on him, and we're going to go really slow. This is the dead man switch. If the button is pressed down, the system will work. And if the button is released, the entire system, all power to the system is cut. Okay, go ahead and press. We'll just do real slow. Quick start again, right? Quick start. And then just start tapping it down or up. The regular uh, passive devices right now on the market, uh, the only energy that they get from their device is the energy that they put in to pressing down on the ground. And so that results in a very asymmetric gait, and also they're wasting a lot of energy. They have to do about 300% more work just to walk. And so with this, uh, with this additional power, that will reduce the amount of energy they have to expend just to walk normally. Too much outside, too much outside. Is it still wobbly? No, not really. Um, we're aware of about two or three other universities who are uh, can show. This has kind of been a uh, fairly challenging for us, um, kind of pushing our, our limits. It's it's going to have to be a redesign, but it's not something we can fix okay. right now. Well, I mean, this is first test of uh, of ma two. hopefully many to come. Yes, round two. Uh, and eventual goal is for us to you know have a foot that our active duty soldiers can wear that's robust and powerful and everything else. Okay. Go ahead and disengage. Disengage. Negative TG. All right, negative TG.